Hello everyone, this is Prem Kumar. Welcome to this introductory video on my course, A Journey to the Center of Pega Constellation. Before getting into the course content, let me give you a brief introduction about myself. I am a certified lease system architect currently based out in Netherlands. I own a blogging platform, MyNoPega, that is how I started my knowledge sharing journey. And by 2022, I also started creating some videos. I have my first YouTube channel. And in the later part of 2022, I also launched my first course, the Pega Masterclass, the complete Pega development course. My first course holds all the basic details or the things which is needed to get started with the Pega. In this course, I just dedicated specifically on the UI stuff. So to whom this course is for? It can be for the lead system architects who want to drive their applications towards the constellation journey. It is LSA's responsibility to pass the knowledge into the teams. So I would recommend every LSA should have the knowledge on the constellation so they can be the right target audience. And then the front end developers who are going to work with the Pega constellation applications, they need to collaborate with the LSAs so they can also make use of this course. And finally, definitely all Pega developers, when you want to know what really happens with this constellation and cosmos, definitely this course is a must want to enroll. So how the course structure is going to be from the name itself, we can say that it's going to be a journey where we end up in the constellation. So I'm going to explain everything right from the start, right from the UI kit, mashup, then we enter into DX API, Cosmos, Cosmos React, and then finally we will talk a lot about the constellation. This is the Pegas UI evolution, and in this course, it's going to have it in an order so that you know how Pega evolved with the user interface. Okay, now let's go into the course content. I will start this course by explaining about UI kit, I think mostly everyone knows about this UI kit. So I just have a simple lecture to explain about the UI kit and then straight away we get started with the advanced topics. The first is on the mashup where I explained you how to create a new mashup. Understand how you can use out of the box attributes and how you can use different actions. And one interesting lecture is if you want to pass data between the Pegas mashup into external posting website or if you want to pass the other way around. I also showed you in some exercise through which you can also try out. That will be definitely informative. And then we will also talk about the authentication in Massive. Once that is done, then we get into the DX API version V1. I have purposefully separated the DX API's version 1 before the Cosmos and version 2 with the constellation. So here we will just talk about the version V1. We, we will understand the data structure. Then we go into the starter packs. We explore the React starter packs. And then we'll also see how the API calls are getting made and how to customize a DX API. If you want to introduce a new DX API, then how to do it. I'll explain everything in that section. So once you clear with this DX API, then we get into the theme cosmos. So theme cosmos is little like to the UI kit, but it has its own standards. So I will start with creating a new application that is using theme cosmos. Then we will try to get into the out of the box rules that got created like portals, personas and everything we are going to do from the app studio. We do some customization also on the home page as well as the case view page. Once that is done, then we go little bit more advanced and in the advanced configurations, I concentrated mostly on the skin rules. In the Pega masterclass lecture, I already explained some of the basic things which you can do with the skin rule and this is going to extend with the advanced configurations. So we will understand what is mixing variables how we can use the OOTB helper class and custom CSS helper class. And then we will also see how to use custom fonts into our Cosmos application. Once we get some clear picture about what this Cosmos provides, then we get into the first starting point of the constellation. We have to understand JavaScript. Constellation UI is all about using the JavaScript components. So definitely first you need to know how Pega uses this JavaScript out of the box and then slowly we will get into different concepts. We have some nice exercise also to get some hands on to understand the structure of the JavaScript. And then we get into the Java server pages, the React UI component which you can get from the UI gallery. Then we go into the Ajax calls. Pega do make a lot of Ajax calls, the asynchronous calls. We talk about jQuery. 
and then we go into the public APIs and finally we will also have some exercise like how to run an activity using different JavaScript functions. So once we set the base, once we know how the JavaScript works, then we enter into the constellation. With the constellation, first we will try to understand the architecture behind the constellation. Because a lot of UI components were offloaded from the Pegasus rule base. So we will understand the architecture, then we will also see if constellation can be a real fit. Once that is done, then we will start with creating our first brand new constellation application. And in the next lecture, it's going to be more interesting lecture because we are going to talk something that happens at the back end. Till now, we talk about the front end, right? All the UI, right? But for the constellation UI to work, you need to have a separate server, the constellation UI server or some kind of CDN server. So I will also explain you how to start up using a Docker container. So that is going to be another interesting lecture for sure, where I will guide you step by step how to do it in your personal edition. And then we will also end up connecting the Pega application into the Constellation UI service. And we will really get to know what is happening at the back end, how the assets are getting loaded into those Constellation UI service. Everything I'm going to explain what really happens at the back end. That is going to be an interesting section. When we make the right connection, we can use the Constellation components. Then we will explore about these portals, the case designs. And I have a dedicated section on configuring views. Views is a new rule that got introduced with the Cosmos React. So you have to define everything in a view when you want to define a user interface. That too from the App Studio. So I have some dedicated detailed lectures on those topics. And after that, we enter into the web methods which can replace the mashup. So with Constellation, you, you get some web embed channels that can be directly placed into any kind of external websites. So web embeds has its own actions, own attributes. We can also see how we can pass data. Just like how we saw in Mashup, we will also see how to pass data be between a Pega web embed into the external hosting application. And finally, we will also talk about the authentications which you can use in the web embeds. And then comes another interesting section where we learn how to create custom DX components. Definitely 100% when you use Constellation, there will be situation where you have to create your custom DX components. Mostly that can be done by a React developer, but we should really know how to do it. Like we should tell them how Pega works first, right? Then only they can understand. So it will be a very good exercise if we can do it ourselves. Let's create our own custom DX component. So there I talk a lot about the Node.js, the NPM project initialization, and then we get into creating a custom DX component. How to publish the DX component? Publishing in the sense like we push it into the Pegas rule base, and then how we can use that custom component into the App Studio design. So we'll get everything into the section. At this moment, definitely you will have a lot of confidence in using the Constellation application. Then we will get into the DX API version V2. We will also compare the DX API V1 and V2. We will understand the newly introduced APIs. And then we extensively talk about the CRUD operations, which you can do it with the data APIs. And these were introduced in 8.8. .8, so that will be really informative with the saveable data pages. And then we go into the Constellation SDKs. Just like how we saw traditional starter packs, we also have Constellation SDKs that can help with the developing components for an alternate design system. So there also we will use the React to set up a React SDK and then we will also explore the sample applications and the calls which are getting made. Once that is done, we get into another advanced topic, how to use a messaging service. Messaging service, we all know that Pega supports the notification, right? We will see how to use it in a constellation. With the constellation, you have a separate architecture. You need to have a separate messaging server available as a middleman. And then we will also see how to use the client subscription, how a server can push the notification. We'll have a nice exercise over it. And then we will talk about the public APIs, the P Connect and P Core APIs. They are like a backbone for this constellation JS engine. So Pega provides a lot of APIs that can be used out of the box. So it is our responsibility to know what type of public API is available. And finally, we will also end up with learning about how to debug a constellation application. We have different tools to help with that. So you will also see how to use those. And as a last exercise, we will have a complete hands-on. We will build a case type and then we will define some stages. We will create some views and we will have a complete case lifecycle. 
so this is going to be the course content definitely by the end of this course you will be a constellation hero i will see you in the first lecture